Hello everybody. Uh, first of all, I'd like to introduce myself. This is Miss Iman, the English teacher for grade 3. And uh, this week we'll talk about lesson 19, uh, Two Bear Cups Story, Reading and Comprehension. Uh, let's start with the summary of the story itself. The story starts by the storyteller who started the story when, uh, when animal people lived in the valley. The story begins with Mother Grizzly going to the river to catch a fish for herself and her cubs. For, so the setting of the story will be a forest and mountain, and the main characters of the story will be older brother, younger brother, and Mother Grizzly. So let's move on to see what happened during the story. In the first scene, the old, there was a conversation between older brother, younger brother, and their mom, Mother Grizzly. Older brother said, don't be afraid of a little water, younger, young brother. The younger one said, I'm not older brother. Mother Grizzly uh, spoke to them, saying, children, stop scaring away the fish, or we will have nothing to eat. Out of the water, now I want you to gather berries, so stay close and do not go down river. Mother Grizzly, at that time she left the stage and she moved away and left the two brothers together. The older one said, look at these berries, they are so sweet. So the younger one replied, we should take them back to mother. The older one said, ignores and she did he didn't said she he ignores him the younger cub begins eating berries too and the younger brother said we will bring some back later i'm full let's see what's downstairs younger brother said we are not supposed to go there but the older one said i see only the river the trees and stones Younger brother replied, I'm tired. The hot sun and my full belly make me want to sleep. So the older brother replied, a nap would be good. The storyteller then said the cubs fell asleep on the stone, but the stone was the seed of a mountain. As they slept, the stone grew bigger and bigger higher and higher and meanwhile mother grizzly wondered what had become of her cups in scene number two mother grizzly kept looking for them older brother older brother fox have you seen my cups the fox said no i've been helping badger build a new home and the badger said, neither of us has seen them. We will help you look for them. Mother Grizzly replied, mother dear, my little ones are missing. Have you seen them? Mother dear replied, they have not come by while. My children and I were grinding acorns, but we will help you find them. Mother Grizzly kept said, spoke to the mountain lion. We are looking for my lost cubs. The mountain lion said, I will help you find them. Mother Grizzly, mouse, have you seen my cubs? But the mouse replied, no, but I will help you. I will help you to find them. So here all the animals start to help Mother Grizzly to look for her missing cups. Then, Fox, look everywhere, look everyone. There is a mountain where there was only a stone before. Mother Grizzly, I see Hawk. Have you seen my lost cups? The Hawk replied, they are asleep of his strange new mountain. Mother Grizzly, please fly to my children, wake them and help them find their way down. The hawk said, 
the wind will not let me reach your little ones. Someone will have to climb up and rescue them. Mother Grizzly, Mountain Lion, you are the best climber and wear my best hope. There is no one now who can save my cubs. But the measuring worm said, I will try. Measuring worm to the cubs. She's already climbed up to the cubs and she start, he started to wake them up, saying, Younger brother, <clears throat> older brother, wake up. But they were drowsy. Then the younger brother said, sorry, the older brother said, Younger brother, something terrible has happened. Look how we are, the younger brother saying, said, We are trapped here. We will never get back to our mother. We will never get back to our mother. They felt scared. Measuring War said, Don't be afraid. I have come to guide you safely down the mountain. The older brother said, I'm afraid I will fall. But the younger said, I'm so scared too. But measuring worm for both of them, surely Mother Grizzly's children are not so afraid, for she is the bravest creature in the valley. Older brother said, we are grizzlies. We are brave. Younger brother replied, we will follow you. Mother Grizzly, when, they, when she saw them back to her, she said, Both of you have been naughty. You didn't listen to me and went where you were not supposed to go. But her cubs felt sorry by saying, The older one said, I'm sorry, I will not do it again. And for the younger one said, I will never disobey you again. So they felt sorry for what they have done and totally wrong for not listening to their mom, which is Mother Grizzly.